I'm always trying to find better ways to store my cards. Uh, I had them all over the place, uh, my PSA cards anyway. And so what I have here are three cases. And I'll kind of go through what I'm doing with my card storage these days. But um, so I think, by the way, I mean, I had I had cards in, in these white boxes. This thing is awful. I've had this for a long time. I got two of these actually. So got cards out of there. I had, um, yeah, I think I had Nolan Ryan in here, right? So I had cards in these white boxes. I had cards in these cases. And I did buy a new case. And now I have all my cards in cases. But... When I was first shopping around, I, I saw this case, and um, this is, I think I got it from SRA, but you'll find these on eBay, and they sell for a lot of money on eBay, like something like you know, 70, 80 bucks sometimes, but you could find these yourself on Amazon, and all you got to do is look up aluminum hard case. So I'm not sure what the dimensions are of this, but if you just go to an eBay auction listing for a PSA graded case and... Should have the dimensions. Just go to Amazon and see which one is which. You know, when I first got this, I tried to store them um, this way, but I couldn't close the lid. And so this case did come with some foam and these dividers, and then it actually works out better to store them sideways. And uh, I got the dividers here. So as long as you have cards in here, the dividers will stay in place. They're kind of they're not that secure, but. They're well enough. And so in this case, I've got all my basketball, or most of my basketball cards and my football cards. So that's where I have contained in here. And then for a long while, I was using this case from Lion's Goods, I think they called. And um, they make a really nice case. They have custom foam uh, insert. So this case is designed specifically to hold graded cards. And on occasion, it'll have like a, a scratch and dent model on eBay. And that's what this is. I mean, who cares if it's got a like a scratch here or something. And I think uh, full retail is 120 or 110, but the scratch and dent models are 60 bucks plus 15 shipping. And I, that's still the case. They've since upgraded. I bought this a while ago and I guess now they're on version 2.0, which maybe there's a little stronger handle perhaps, but this holds quite a few slabs. And so in this one, I've got uh, all the random PSA cards and eighties cards that I had in that that long white box and then I have some of my my junkier PSA slabs like this David Wright PSA 10 um, this Nomar Garcia Parra so my lesser PSA but anyway all of them are now contained in this case and so today this arrived it's a brand new case I found on Amazon it's uh, made by Monoprice now Monoprice sells them on their website but it's a lot cheaper on Amazon this case cost me 70 bucks uh, free shipping, and I was a little disappointed. I thought it would hold more cards. Um, well, it does hold more, more cards than this, but not much more. And unfortunately, you know, the way I have it cut, I go all the way to the edge with a with a pick and pluck foam, whatever, and I leave one one line in between. And if I just had one more width, of uh, this case was just maybe a half inch longer, then I could have done five five rows but um it doesn't work out that way so this goes to the edge because the edge so i had to kind of do this arrangement here where i cut out a section here cut out a section here and i just do them sideways and i did it like this for symmetry and to keep the weight balanced um and i this one holds i think i added these up to like 196 cards fit in here but these are uh my higher end cards i mean i have i mean i have my Oh, there's a Jeter, and I think my I have Mantle, my Mantle running here, right? Is that, yeah, it's Mantle. Yeah, Mantle. Um, and then in the middle, I think I got my LeBron's, my LeBron James Chrome cards. And, you know, I start, I put them in order, like I start with this, well, not this one. This one, 1909, and I, I go in order here. Um, and I had to actually do a little bit of work on these because the, I don't know what these were for. There were these things that came down like plastic. And so when I first closed the case, I was like, I had a hard time getting it shut. And I did ultimately. But then when I opened it up, I saw like these were like pushed down. All right. So I took a little hacksaw tool and I just kind of like sliced those off a little bit. So uh, I'm not sure what the point of those were for, but for my needs, this is fine. And I like this case because it's a lot more durable than this case. Uh, it's a lot more uh, shock absorption 
and a lot more rugged. So it's a knockoff Pelican. Pelicans are expensive, and for my needs, this is fine. And I think for most people's needs, this is fine, um, especially if you're just going to put baseball cards in it. I mean, Pelicans are easily twice the price. Uh, Harbor Freight is another good source for Pelican knockoff cases. In fact, I did order a Harbor Freight case, and it's going to be here next week, but I think I'm going to return it because after taking some measurements, um, I ended up ordering this one after the fact, and I think this is going to be I'm better with this one than the Harbor Freight. I think the Harbor Freight is going to be just four rows. It's slightly narrower, maybe a little bit taller. Essentially, it's maybe it's very similar to these specifications here. So um, mostly I'm going to return that to my local Harbor Freight, but just a tip, if you go to their website, um, they sell a, a hard case. They have the 3800 series, and then I actually ordered the 4800. The 4800 is very similar in size to a Pelican 1520, okay? But the 4800, in fact, they always have, they always have coupons at Harbor Freight. In fact, there's one right now for 20% off. Uh, the, case, the case retails for $59.99, so the coupon ends up being, what, like 48 bucks plus tax and shipping. Um, and that's the 4800 size. So if you're looking for a case like this, uh, check out Harbor Freight. Um, Pelicans, they're, they're nice. I know I have them for, for work stuff, but for, for storing cards, I think these are going to do the job just fine. And uh, this one happens to be mono price, as they call it. And this is on Amazon, and I can post the link down below. But anyway, it, it's a constant <laughs> struggle. In fact, I didn't realize I had so many slabs. I, in my mind, I thought I was going to fit everything in here and in this case with this and um when this arrived in the mail i was like oh <laughs> that's that's not as big as i thought it was going to be um so i guess the way to go is to have multiple cases versus one humongous obnoxious case and they do make them for like rifles and weapons and things like that but um i guess i'll just settle for this so anyway that's my uh my little diatribe on card storage cases um yeah, so hopefully that helps some of you out there looking for a good way to store cards. If you got a lot of slabs, how I do it. And um, yeah, so uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, be back soon.